So guys, it seems that AMD is finally bringing a new codec, which is called the VCN4, which is the video codec next 4. Uh, and if you're into recording and streaming, this is definitely for you. And shit gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco, and welcome to my channel. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall. Where using my SKG discount code leads to a 25% off across several products making a Windows 10 serial key only $16. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and all you need to do is to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. So currently the AMD GPUs support, for example, um, if I remember correctly, they support the AVC codec, which is the H.264, and they support the H.265, which is the HEVC, which is better, okay? So it... Uh, it Basically, it has it has higher quality in the same bitrate, the H.265, and the same applies to the to Nvidia that has the NVENC, which is even better than the H.265 and way better than the H.264 in terms of low bitrate. Okay, so if you record or if you stream at high bit rates, for example, YouTube lets you stream at least at um, 2,000 bps and bps, so 20,000. Sorry, 20,000 is perfectly fine if you're playing even with H.264, but if you're going, for example, for Twitch or other or other platforms where they actually uh, just let you stream at, let's say, 7,000 Mbps, uh, 8,000 or something around that, or even 6,000, if that's the case, then you need a higher quality codec to actually manage to bring higher quality with the same low bitrate, okay? And the H.264 won't do its job. That's why AMD is finally bringing a new codec to actually fight the NVENC from NVIDIA. And we have been waiting four years for this, or at least for them to support AV1. Now, which one is better, AV1 or VCN4? We don't know because we have AV1, but we do not have VCN4 so far, okay? But as for the news, once again, hardware report, AMD RDNA 3, GFX 11, GPU patches enable VCN4 support, but lack AV1. I think they will add AV1 later, of course, but at least for now we have VCN4. AMD has begun releasing patches for its RDNA 3 GFX 11 architecture last week for the LLVM project. The newest GFs, GFX 11 is the GPU series known as Navi 3X and will be based upon the RDNA 3 architecture. Now that the new enablement is currently active, software engineers from AMD are beginning to create the functionality for architecture once it becomes available later this year. Yes, because RDNA 3 is supposed to be released this year, okay? At least the higher-end cards. The mid-end cards will release, like, in the first quarter of 2023, okay? Engineers have included VCN 4.0 or Video Core Next IP block to assist in storing info from the video codec. However, AMD has not allowed the enablement of the AV1 encoding, which is a must for today's GPUs, which Intel recently released to be more efficient than the previous AVC encoding, okay? Also, it is really interesting this, so outside of AMD not including the new encoding from Intel in its support, okay, it's from Intel, so they actually want a codec of their own. Completely, completely agree on this point, because if it is good, it doesn't matter if it is NVENC KV1 uh, or even the, the VCN4, doesn't matter, okay? Basically, the previous name version was Video Core Next, but it was now changed to Video Codec Next. It's referring to their to their previous generation, to their previous generation, sorry, of GPUs, which was GCN, okay? So now we have RDNA, and previously we had GCN. GCN, which, which was Graphics Core Next. We had the 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, 4.0, and 5.0, which were the Vega cards, okay? After that, we have RDNA 1, and now RDNA 2, and for this video, RDNA 3, as you can see here, okay? But well, remember that these GPUs aren't even out, so many things will change. And just listen to this, because, for example, the SOC 21 Navi 31, okay? GPU code records AVC, AGVC, like I told you before. Um, this for encoding, of course. And in terms of decoding, it has AVC, AGVC, JPEG, VP9, which is the one that YouTube uses, I think. 
and AV1 decoding, okay? They already have the decoding, they just need the encoding ability, okay? But we also have the, the Kepler guy saying this, that it is known, this guy is known to, to have some pretty, uh, some pretty trustable, some pretty trustable uh, sources, some pretty trustable info, and as he says here, no AV1 encode support listed for VCN4 RDNA3, but maybe just another G-bait as they did with Rembrandt AV1 decode. So basically, uh, it wasn't supposed to have AV1, but it was later added as it was released, okay? So that is a thing also. Um, just for the end, users will start seeing AMD RDNA3 graphics. Um, in the quarter four of 2022, yes, the higher end cards like the most likely the 7800 XT and the 7900 XT, okay? And the other ones on the first quarter of 2023 will be, for example, the 7700 XT and the 7600 XT, okay? AMD anticipates the company's Radeon 7000 series will go head to head with the RTX 4. 40 series, okay, that will ship parallel to their product. Now, one thing is really interesting so far is that the new GPUs seem to be very, very good. We have many new things. We have a completely different architecture because we now have MCM, which I like to call multi-chip module. Uh, two dies on the same on the same chip. It's more like a dual GPU, but a bit different, okay? But in terms of power efficiency, they have improved a lot from what we've heard. So it's a really really good thing, okay? So we'll have the GPUs performing as well or better than the NVIDIA cards, okay? Uh, but with way lower power draw. For, from what we've heard, of course, the, um, the RTX performance is also way better right now. And I'm testing a card yet to be released. It is currently on my computer. Um, and I was testing the ray tracing performance on this card. And I, I have to tell you that in most games, it still performs wonderfully well. So if the next generation AMD just um, just improves upon that, it will be crazy good. It will be crazy good. As for now, if you are a streamer or if you record lots of things like I do, you are really eager to watch this. Finally, AMD cards will have a decent encoder, even more for streaming and at low bit rates, okay? That's really interesting. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Um, yeah, this is always bouncing. <laughs> Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and thanks a lot for watching. Seriously, thanks a lot for watching guys. See you in the next one. By the way, in the 10th of this month, so in five days from now, uh, I'll bring you lots of new videos on a new GPU, okay? So stay tuned.